Peter went with the skates. Peter played hockey all his life. He wraps hockey these days. I remember back in the high school, he was on the high school team. Anyway, the guy can skate and he's fast. <laughs> he's fast as hell.
Side. This big ridge pole I got here, 16 and a half feet. That's going to span across at six feet. So that's going to be the height, the peak height of our shelter. And then I'm going to have something come down and meet that log, and something that comes down to meet this log, and then that's going to be our shelter. It could be quite large. I could that could be problematic trying to heat, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we're experimenting. You tore the the gazebo frame down. There's another roof. Way up there on the hill, that's going to be. The next structure. Lake view. Lake view. Lake view. Lake view. As you get up over that tree. Even just that four to five feet incline. You can really see the lake. We are extremely socked in. So. And 45. About an hour and a half of daylight. It's actually the 24th. Ridge line. Ridge pole. Second pole. Pole lashed. Yeah. Pole lashed. A couple different lashings on each of those. Those are uh, six feet high. And then we've got this 16 footer log here. Again, leaned up over here, Peter. And then we've got this guy here I've cut. That's going to go across the top. We've got um, area. And then I'm going to have a log go from the inside of that and stop on that tree right here. And I'll put another one there, and then I'll build that as our roof, and we'll build the walls. Garage. Well, really, I guess I only really need... It's going to come there, down to here. But, but I might put another 40 there, and then have another straight brace coming across. It gives us something to support a wall. A cot here. And there's going to be another pole from... It's going to come up from up here, right down to here, on this log, right where our boat meets this tree. And then we'll have a cot here. We'll build a bed there, a bed on that outside wall, room for our gear, and then the fire. You know, my problem is, is all this. I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of all this yet. It is near the back of our shelter, but this is where the fire is going to be. And then what we'll do, Pete, is we'll use those bricks, and we'll build a pad. The nice thing about that is a couple things. We can probably make something nice and even and hard, but it'll also heat those bricks. And those bricks will also give off heat, too, so it be pretty awesome, really. Pull up gently in my There's a new ridge line instead of the rope. It should hold up. I'm gonna lash this on too. So these are the six feet beams. I'm six two. That's about right. And we are really sucked in here. So. No shortage of trees. Uh -huh. 
We're just testing the uh, fuel gauge for my jet bullet. That's Mark, neat. Mark has it hooked up. Uh, we selected the 450 gram and size. And it says there's 40% remaining. 40% so left. That is so cool, bud. And okay. so just turn around again, Mark, just for a second. You can select uh, a push on. You can select 100 grams, 250 grams, or 450 grams. Deadly. Huh. Got all kinds of cool stuff. I got like a emergency flashlight, strober. You can just lay that right there if you want. I got like a little. So I'm just gonna go boil the hot dogs too. If you wanna. You can boil hot dogs as well, yeah. Okay. You go to birthday parties? They're always boiled. That's right. <laughs> Cook with, I guess we need to. I thought I had a fork too here though. So we're gonna make the gravy now. Step one's the corn and hot dogs. I do got another pocket knife, but there's no fork. I got scissors. <laughs> That's cool. It's like a little Swiss Army knife type thing. A couple tools onto it. Lighter, got a flashlight there. Battery pack. Paper. That's getting very, very hot. We just stoked the fire. Mark's on uh, a couple, couple of little fast fried pork chops there. Courtesy of Nance. Thanks, Nance. Don. Thanks, Nance. We'll, uh, we'll eat well. Appreciate it. We're going to go with the mashed potatoes. We brought the jet boil out. Jet boil for the mashed potatoes. We've got some corn stashed. I brought my BRS. Case. I think I might try to take my tooth off. Well, there's the corn. I can show you. My tooth is a lamp or something. We are running out of daylight here. Can I have that? Show dark in here. Okay. More chops are good. Keep that nice and stoked. Oh, yeah. Same day as the one. A little bit better. There we go. Nice. Now, bring my chip 
ball oh my track there it is it's the mash tennis Mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, gravy, corn. Nice and steamy. Mm -hmm. Yep, nice and hot. Make sure we bring plates and shit next time. Hey, we keep forgetting that. That's in the summer camp kit. Thank <laughs> you. 